So Epic Games has run into some financial trouble. The endless money printing machine that is Fortnite apparently doesn't really print endless money. And so they've had to lay off 16% of their staff. And they've also sold Bandcamp. They bought Bandcamp in March 2022, much to the chagrin of many independent musicians and artists who use it to make a living, who don't trust Epic Games. Remember, the Fortnite people uh, with their livelihoods. And, uh, it, well... Less than, uh, not even a year later, has it been a year since March? I don't know how time works. Uh, they've sold it off again to a company called Song Trader. Now, Song Trader is a company which specializes in music licensing for businesses. And uh, the reason this is worrying is that Bandcamp has, generally speaking, been a safe haven for people who make sample based music. Uh, and Song Trader, as a company who profits entirely from owning. Uh, intellectual property rights for music, uh, it seems likely that they're going to crack down on samples pretty heavily, which is not good news for any artists who, you know, want to be able to distribute their music on there. Um, now, this is just going to keep happening. You'll notice that this happens all the time, right? Every place on the internet in the digital space, who, uh, which seems to, to be cool, eventually gets sold to someone idiotic and... Uh, and they ruin it in the name of of making a profit. Uh, and this is this is just going to keep happening unless we band together and create our own alternative infrastructure and alternative platforms in order to deny them profit and property. Uh, the ways to do this are, in my opinion, quite simple. Uh, it's very easy to host your own website where you can distribute your own music and you can still make money through a variety of means. I should know, okay? Uh, it's also very easy to uh, license your music under a Creative Commons license. There's a link in the description to a uh, website that will help you choose which Creative Commons license is use is best for you. Uh, but in short, uh, Creative Commons means that uh, people are free to do what they want with your music. Um, uh, you know, with some caveats. For example, the one my my preferred Creative Commons license is the attribution share alike. So you can do whatever you want, so long as you give me attribution, right? You, you say this was made by No Thank You, and you also release whatever you make under the same license, so that other people can share and remix it and do do whatever that sort of thing is. Um, so doing this prevents these giant megacorps from being able to. Uh, you know, use our music as their property uh, because by, you know, distributing it on their platform, they give anyone the right to take it and remix it and redistribute it themselves. Uh, so denying them pro property is one key step. And if you're thinking about copyright is the only way I can make money, otherwise everyone would just steal my music and re-upload it. Uh, they're not stealing anything because copying isn't theft. Copying a digital file doesn't mean that the person doesn't have the original copy of the digital file. We are not depriving anyone of anything. So copying definitionally can't be theft. Um, so no one's stealing anything from you other than this legal concept of intellectual property, which uh, is an extremely antiquated uh, uh, concept, which frankly shouldn't exist. Um, it really serves to, to keep megacorps in business rather than helping the majority of artists. Um, so, you know, that's this is one way. Oh, and if you're wondering if you can make money, uh, yes, I make money. Uh, you, you can, I make money through releasing exclusive songs on Patreon. I make money through traditional streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music. I make money through selling albums on Bandcamp, although who knows how long I'll be able to continue doing that. Um, and I make money through selling merch and physical releases thanks to Jested Incorporated, another independent group of uh, chill people who do my physical releases for me. Shouts out. Uh, <clears throat> So where where would you want to host your music? Well, you know, if you don't want to set up your own website and go through that whole kerfuffle, thankfully, uh, there are some cool people out there doing uh, just this, setting up platforms and, and places for artists to share their music with one another um, without being bogged down in all of this capitalist nonsense. An example of this uh, is cybergrunge.net, which uh, I've uploaded my most recent albums there too. I've been uploading my recent albums there. Um, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, run by uh, Ellie Void, who's a ch chill person, super chill person. And, uh, you know, run by a musician, for musicians. No one's making any money off of this. There's no ads, there's no trackers. 
I mean, it's exactly what you want. You have to deny them profit. And that means, you know, some things for artists as well, uh, that you might want to be selling your music or distributing your music without selling it. Uh, for example, on torrenting platforms as well, I think is a good way to go about this. Now, again, if you're worried that you're not going to be able to make money, I've already outlined. I just outlined a bunch of ways you can still make money off of this. Um, you don't have to scrounge for every single penny. Or you don't have to to, to 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 nickel and dime the public out of their money. Is really what I mean here. Because again, you're selling digital files. Okay, these things can be right click saved off a website. Um, you know, people who give you money give you money because they want to support you. And when your music is on a different platform, that doesn't going to change the people who want to support you, right? They're still going to, if you give them a, a vehicle to donate to you, they're still going to do it. Obviously, the better solution would be for artists to get paid a wage by the government, but that's a bit of a pipe dream. Um, but still, we can fight back against these megacorps by creating our own infrastructure. It's just that it's going to, you know, Unlike them, we don't we don't want to be making massive profits to to please our shareholders, right? We we want to be actually helping each other. So, um, you know, I recommend cybergrunge.net. There are plenty of other places, and you can also always set up your own place, host some of your friends' music, even. And we we should be you know supporting this alternative infrastructure to the the tech megacorps who are just going to buy and sell each other endlessly, um, because otherwise we'll be trapped in this vicious cycle where uh you know they, they can just do whatever they want with our shit i don't want that and so uh you know so why it's not surprising because because the systems are set up exactly for this to happen uh this is this is just what happens on the internet these days um and so and unless we do something about it by creating these alternative parallel uh you know spaces nothing's going to change and well it doesn't have to change. We we can let them do whatever we want. We just don't have to be over there or be completely reliant on them. Uh, so, yeah.